I'm turning two of these into four of these. If you want to see how I do it, keep watching. Here's the tablecloth that I bought to make the pillows with. It's a Threshold brand. Picked it up at Target. And it, as you can see, matches the couch pretty well. This is the king size pillow that I picked up at Walmart. It's 36 inches long. I've already drawn a line at the halfway point, so all I'm going to do is just cut it straight down the center. Okay, so I'm just going to start cutting on my line, and it doesn't have to be perfect. Go to the other side. And I already have a line drawn on this side as well. So I'll just cut through that. Okay, what I'm doing now is I'm using safety pins to pin back the bulk of the stuffing. And it just makes it a lot easier to stick under the machine when you don't have all of this in your way. Okay, I'm just gonna start sewing up the edge now. Just back stitch a couple stitches. I ended up cutting my tablecloth down to a couple of smaller, more manageable pieces to work with. I just accounted for the fact that I knew I wanted um, my pieces to be 18 inches by 19 inches, and I knew I would need eight pieces for four pillows, so I just sort of plotted that out um, before I cut into anything. Okay, now I've taken my ruler to line it up just at, with the one at the bottom, and all the way up to the one at the top. This way I've got a straight line to cut on, and as you can see, all this excess material is the material that'll get shaved off. And that'll give me a straight edge. And after I cut that, then I do the same thing for the bottom. I'll just line up my ruler just right on the line at the bottom, and as you can see, this will get shaved off with my rotary cutter. Okay, I've scooted my fabric down so that the corner is at the zero mark. And I'm just gonna move my camera a little closer. And I have my ruler lined up on the 18 inch line. So I'll just make that cut. And now for the 19 inch cut. I'm going to apply some fray check all around the edges of this material. As you can see, it can fray and I don't want it to come apart. You can also um, do a zigzag stitch around the edges to keep them from unraveling. I've purchased a Coats Invisible Zipper. This one is 20 to 22 inches. It's a bit too long, but it's all that they had, so I'm just going to have to cut it down. Um, but first, I just want to show you, um, when you take it out of the package, the zipper teeth are curled up. You'll just want to take an iron to it and flatten the teeth out to make it easier to work with. Just like that. I'm positioning my zipper now. And I want to leave about an inch and a half on each end of the fabric. So I've put a mark on my zipper and I'm going to cut about this much off of the end of it. Before I trim the zipper off, I am just going to create a new zipper stop 
and I'm actually stitching just around the zipper portion I've created a new zipper stop. Um, I just sewed over it enough time so that it's thick enough that the zipper will definitely stop right there. And um, at this mark right here, it's a half inch past where the zipper is going to stop. So that is where I'm going to make my cut. And you can just cut right through like that. And there's the new zipper. I've already gone ahead and pinned the zipper to the seam allowance. Um, beforehand, I had actually folded down the seam allowance a half inch so that I could pin the zipper to it. The back of the zipper is facing up and I've pinned it onto the seam allowance like, like that. I turn it over like this and then you can see that when you turn it over, this would be the actual right side of the pillow so that this would all get tucked in invisibly um, to the seam allowance and that you would just see the zipper tab sticking out when it's sewn together. Okay, I'm sewing the zipper on now and I'm using an invisible zipper foot. Um, if you can see, there's two grooves in it. Uh, there's a bar separating the grooves in the middle and I'm going to try to keep this zipper in the left hand groove. So. That will stay in there, hopefully. And I just want my needle to not fall too close to the zipper and nick it. So I'm going to use my, uh, this button over here moves my needle a little over to the right. So I'm just gonna sort of test it out. Um, I think that should be good and not fall to nick the zipper. So I'm gonna go with that. other side now and I'm going to keep the zipper teeth on the right side groove back stitch as I go I'm keeping the teeth lined up with that fold that I had made Okay, I've sewn the zipper on and at some point this gets in the way, the tab, so I'm just going to pull it up a little bit and turn it over and to get this rest of the part of that sewn, I'm going to get the tail out of the way and start from the end and get it from this angle. I'm just going to line it up with where the, where the seam allowance was. Over there, just move my needle over a bit, just to line that up. Pull the tail out of the way. sure that that tail is is not getting stitched and there's my previous sewing line just back stitch again I've already pinned all the sides of the pillow it's almost done, now all I have to do is sew everything together. I'm going to line it up. I have this piece of elastic here just to show me that this is a half inch from where my needle is. When 
when I get to the corner, I usually try to put my needle down and then just, being that I'm gonna pivot, I sort of estimate to see how, how far I have to go before I pivot. So I'll just give it a couple stitches and then put my needle down again and just turn the fabric and see if that was enough. Yep, that looks like it's perfect. So then I just keep stitching. Now I'm at the spot with the zipper again. tape in there and see that that works. I've turned the pillowcase um, inside out and now I just have to punch the edges out, the little corners here. You just stick your finger in like that and just make it pointy. And for this one also. actually stuffing my new pillow into the pillowcase. You have to kind of like play with it a little bit. There are the new pillows on the couch. I am really happy with the way they turned out. I think they make the couch look cozier and more inviting. And I also like the pattern better than any of the fabrics that I had seen at the time I was looking in the fabric stores. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.